Recently, uh, U.S. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has been accused of receiving expensive gifts and other financial benefits during his time on the high court. It's led to questions of the ethics of gifts like this for judges. Well, this debate has, has us asking, what about the finances of the justices of Indiana's highest court? Chief Investigator Steve Brown dug into this and found an error in one of the disclosure forms. It doesn't matter if they're full-time or part-time. Every Indiana judge every January must submit a statement of economic interest. It's a public financial disclosure where judges must list things like where their spouse works, businesses they own, and outside income. In the disclosures by Indiana Supreme Court justices, we found a few interesting things, like Justice Mark Massa is quite the baseball fan. In his disclosure, his membership on the board of directors of Indians Inc., which is, of course, the Indianapolis Indians. On Justice Christopher Goff's disclosure, we found $20,000 in forgiven student loans. Now, this is not connected to the Biden administration student loan forgiveness program that's currently tied up in the federal courts. Here we're talking about the Federal Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program. To be eligible, people have to do two things for 10 years, work as a public servant and make monthly loan payments. The Indiana Supreme Court spokesperson tells us Justice Goff applied in January of last year, received word of the loan forgiveness months later. Lastly, we come to Chief Justice Loretta Rush's disclosure. We were confused at first by this. She declared $13,000 worth of outside income from teaching at Purdue. But the online portal posting salaries of Indiana public employees shows Rush's Purdue pay at a different amount, $24,000. In an email, we pointed out this discrepancy to the spokesperson for the Indiana Supreme Court. In a reply, we were told that we had actually identified an omission in the Chief Justice's financial disclosure. The spokesperson explaining Chief Justice Rush normally has only one teaching job a year, but because of COVID, she took part in two separate teaching jobs last year. In the Chief Justice's new disclosure, submitted May 5th, she included money she made from both teaching jobs. Again, a little over 24 grand. Now, if you'd like to have a look for yourself at the financial disclosure statements of the justices of the Indiana Supreme Court and all of the judges in the Court of Appeals, they are attached to this story on our website right now. Steve Brown, CBS 4 News.